Our next question requests that we factor each of the following trinomials and it provides a clue that the leading coefficient is not 1 so we're going to have to try common factoring first. Our first question is 3x squared plus 21x plus 30. Well when we common factor out the 3 we realize that 3x squared divided by 3 is x squared 21x divided by 3 is 7x and 30 divided by 3 is 10. We keep the signs the same. And we can double check this by saying, would 3 times x squared give me 3x squared? Would 3 times plus 7x give me plus 21x? And would 3 times plus 10 give me plus 30? The answer is yes. We then use the sum and product method on this trinomial inside. And we see that two numbers that multiply to 10 and add to 7 are 5 and 2. So our answer is 3 times x plus 5 quantity times x plus 2 quantity. We go to our next question. 2x squared plus 4x minus 16. Well, we common factor out the 2 and we're left with x squared plus 2x minus 8. Remember, we're seeing if this number multiplied into here would equal each of these. And then what we do is we ask ourselves two numbers that multiply to negative 8 and add to positive 2. And those numbers are positive 4 and negative 2. Of course we could double check by re-expanding this out to see if we get to here and then to here. Our next question, 4x squared minus 4x minus 80. Factor out the 4 and we're left with x squared minus x minus 80 inside the bracket. Well, we want two numbers that multiply to negative 1, I'm sorry, that add to negative 1 and multiply to negative 80. Well, those two numbers, I'm sorry, that's a 20. <laughs> sorry about that, folks. There should be a 20 in there. We want two numbers that add to negative 1 and multiply to negative 20. Well, those numbers are negative 5 and positive 4. We get x minus 5, x plus 4. And last, but certainly not least, is this guy right here. Pretty big digits. Well, we factor out the 6, and we're left with x squared minus 19x plus 90. And we now want to determine two numbers that multiply to positive 90 and add to negative 19. Well, those numbers will have to be negative, each of them. And we settle on negative 9 and negative 10. So we realize that 6 times x minus 9 quantity times x minus 10 quantity, if it were to be expanded out, would equal this. So we have successfully factored that trinomial.